go on. Hi again, everybody. It's uh, Silo Rebel uh, Baseball here this afternoon. We are live from uh, Panama, Oklahoma, home of the uh, Razorbacks. Today's district doubleheader between the uh, Rebels and the uh, Panama Razorbacks. Silo comes in 21-2 and on the uh, season, riding an 11-game winning streak into this afternoon's action. And uh, we'll take a look at the uh, lineups here in just a minute. Uh, Field level view here this afternoon is uh, really no bleacher uh, seating, so uh, we are set up right behind the uh, plate for the action here in Panama. This doubleheader for the uh, Rebels, uh, they will uh, have a regular uh, lineup. To start with, uh, Kyler Proctor will lead off and play shortstop. Chase Corbin batting second at third base. Easton Ford is the third batter at first. Delton Roberts batting cleanup is the designated hitter. Taking Connery on the mound this afternoon, getting the start as uh, he bats fifth. Connor Cordell hitting sixth in left field. Colby Smith batting seventh at second base. Hitting eighth is the uh, catcher, Josh Trout. And the nine-hole hitter is Xander Marshall playing center field. You're going to look at the uh, Panama lineup in just a uh, second here as battery for the uh, Razorbacks. Dylan Williams will be the uh, pitcher and behind the uh, plate is Colby Ludlow and we are just about set for the uh, first pitch. Thought we might have a little bit of a delay. Umpire was running a little bit late but got here just in time. And we are set for pitch number one of the Opener as it's a strike call. Got the uh, view right behind the uh, plate here. Williams, the uh, pitcher, and that pitch is swung on and popped up left side of the uh, infield. Back a couple steps is the uh, shortstop. Tustin Timms, and he makes the catch for out number one. So the next batter, Chase Corbin. Defensive alignment for the uh, Razorbacks at third base, Hunter Hopkins. The uh, shortstop, as I mentioned, uh, Tustin Timms. And second base, Kicks Nixon. And the uh, first baseman is Luke McNamara. As the... Uh, Pitch to uh, Corbin is outside for a ball. Just underway here in the top half of inning number one. And the uh, strike called to uh, Corbin. A three-hour-plus drive up here. Rebel still... Uh, Working on getting their legs under them as that pitch a ball. And the next one is a called strike. Breaking ball that time to uh, Corbin. And the count even at 2-2. Two -two. Uh, 
the small dimensions here at uh, the uh, ballpark here as that one gets away and almost right in our kitchen as uh, all the way to the backstop. Cal runs full. 305 down the lines. It's 325 to the alleys in both uh, left center and right center and 340 to dead center field according to the uh, dimensions on the outfield wall as that pitch fouled off by Corbin. We'll try it again. Payoff pitch. Here's a swing and a foul. Pulled it on the left side. Next pitch upstairs. It's ball four, and Corbin draws the uh, walk. Last week, the uh, Rebels' uh, offensive uh, walk numbers just skyrocketed on Tuesday and Thursday. And wins over Savannah and Rattan. Here's the pitch. Corbin running, and he's going to steal second as Easton Ford takes that breaking ball for a strike. So Corbin takes second. In scoring position for Easton Ford, who had the uh, huge game on uh, Thursday against Rattan, seven RBIs, a couple home runs. And let's see, on the uh, season, Easton now up to 413 average as he'll foul off that one. Leads the team with 41 RBIs. Looking for 42 right here with uh, Corbin in scoring position at second base. But an 0-2 count, and the pitch lined into right field for a base hit. Here comes Corbin around th third. He's going to score easily. And Easton Ford with another RBI, 42 on the year, and the Rebels lead 1-0. This line, that one out there, got it over the head of the uh, first baseman. And Silo goes on top with a run here in the uh, first. Next batter is Delton Roberts. The... Uh, Designated hitter. The pitch, and it's in there for a uh, strike. For off speed uh, delivery. One out. Rebels have uh, scratched across a run already. And there's another breaking ball on that. Drops below the zone. And the pitch swung on and hit hard. Singled into a left field. Gets ball gets away from the uh, left fielder. Going to third is forward, and the runners will both advance on an error in left. After the uh, single by Delton Roberts. A hard hit ball into uh, left for the uh, single. And then Ford and Delton both uh, move up on the error and left. So two runners in scoring position now. And Tegan Connery, the uh, next hitter. Trying to help himself out on the uh, mound. Batting 385 on the uh, year, 19 RBIs. Looking to add to that total as he takes a strike. Here's the next pitch, and it's lined back up the uh, middle for a base hit. It's going to get into center field. Here comes Roberts around third. Both runs are going to score, and Stilo leads it 3 nothing. 
Off to another fast start here this afternoon. That a ground ball single up the middle from uh, Tegan Connery. Two more RBIs for Tegan. And the next batter, Connor Cordell. He squares around, fakes the bunt, pulls back, and Connery's going to easily steal second base. So a steal of second. Another Rebel in uh, scoring position. But look. The pitch, strike call. Four wins last week. Uh, there was only two innings all week that the uh, Rebels did not score a run. That was both the uh, first innings at uh, Savannah and uh, Rattan. And that pitch a ball. One and two the count. Cordell looking to add to the lead. Connor takes low. Runner on the move, and Connery's going to take uh, third. No chance for the uh, catcher. And he's at third base, 90 feet away. Let's see. On the season, Cordell hitting 364. And he's going to foul that one off. <clears throat> Seven extra base hits, including two home runs. He had a home solo home, massive solo home run on uh, Thursday night at Rattan. 20 RBIs for Cordell. Next pitch. It's swung on. It's popped high in the air. Shallow right field. Back is the uh, second baseman. Going to make the play. Kind of tagging and coming home is uh, Connery. And the Rebels score another run. Wasn't a deep sacrifice fly, but uh, I don't think the uh, second baseman even realized Connery was tagging and scoring on that one. So two outs in the inning. But uh, the Rebels have played it four. And the batter's Colby Smith. And he'll take the ball. Next pitch to uh, Colby, and it hits him. Too far inside. Second free pass of this inning. Smith is aboard. And here comes the uh, catcher, Josh Trout. Trout. Four doubles. A home run on the uh, season. Smith with good speed at first base. And Trout takes that pitch for a strike. Caught the outside corner. <clears throat> Eighth batter to hit in this inning for the uh, Rebels. Who have pushed across four runs here in the top half of inning one. Runner goes, swing and a miss. And the throw down to second base, not in time as the tag missed on Colby Smith, who steals the bag at second. So Colby Smith with the uh, steal. He is in scoring position now. Trout with the chance for an RBI, and there's a swing and a miss for strike three, and that ends the inning for Silo, but not before the uh, Rebels push across four runs, three hits. There was one error, and uh, a man left. Head to the bottom half of inning number one. It's Silo four, and Panama coming to bat.
Here's how things line up uh, defensively for Silo here in the uh, bottom of inning one. Around the infield, it's Chase Corbett at uh, third base. Kyler Proctor is the shortstop. Colby Smith at second. Easton Ford playing first. Josh Trout behind the plate. Tegan Connery getting the uh, start on the mound. As we take a look at Tegan's stats for the uh, season. Making a sixth appearance, fifth start. He's two and one on the year. 11 and a third innings. He's allowed 11 runs, eight hits, struck out 14, walked nine. And the first pitch is a strike call. Bo Linney. Takes a uh, strike. And that one that's upstairs. One and one the count. Here's the pitch from Connery, and it's fouled off the right side and out of play. <coughs> Quickly ahead in the count at one and two. And the pitch, breaking ball called strike three in there. Good looking uh, curve that time from uh, Connery. First out recorded. <clears throat> and it's Hunter Hopkins, the next batter. Steps in there and takes the ball. The next pitch is a called strike. A little bit different angle than normal here. It's uh, really no elevated surfaces uh, to uh, film from. So we are at ground level right behind the plate. As the pitch called strike. One, two pitch. And it's a breaking ball. Grounder. On a bounce, Connery fields it and throws the first in time. There's two down. Third batter for the Razorbacks, Tustin Timms, the shortstop. And the pitch from Tegan is... Low for a ball. And here's the next one, and it's popped up. Left side. Over is uh, Proctor, and he's going to make the grab and foul territory for out number three. So three up, three down for the uh, Razorbacks in the... Um, Bottom of the first inning on 10 pitches by uh, Connor. We head to the second, silo four, Panama nothing.
9-1-2 batters up, uh, due up for the uh, Rebels here in inning number two. Xander Marshall to uh, start things. Pretty nice afternoon. Temperature was uh, forecasted to be in the uh, 60s, but uh, it's pretty warm and humid. With a little bit of a breeze out of the uh, south. A whole lot uh, better than uh, what we experienced last week at uh, Savannah when the gale blowing in. That afternoon. Warm up toss is done here in the uh, second, and Xander Marshall starts things. As Silo looking to tack on to their 4 0 lead. See Xander hitting, he's really uh, upped his average up to uh, 393. And he takes the ball low all the way to the uh, backstop right here in front of us. Here's the pitch from Williams. It's a called strike. Next offering, it's fouled. Out of play. Marshall down in the count. One and two here, and he takes high for a ball. Silo scored four runs on three hits in the uh, first inning. And there's a breaking ball that... Uh, just misses inside. Count goes full to uh, Xander Marshall with the uh, top of the order awaiting on deck. The pitch, that one's up and in for ball four. And Silo has the leadoff batter on here in the uh, second inning. And we go back to Kyler Proctor. He popped out his first time up in the first. Leading the team with a 522 batting average. Got 14 extra base hits on the year. And he takes a ball. Marshall, good speed at first. Here's the pitch. It swung on and lined deep into left field, and it's going to go foul. Proctor jumped on that one, but was a little bit out in front of it. Pretty short porch and uh, down the left field line, 305 down the line here. One one count, runner goes, breaking ball, taken inside for a ball. Marshall's gonna steal second. As the throw came in late after that breaking ball. So a runner in scoring position. Proctor with 34 RBIs on the uh, season. Chance to add to that total here. Pitch home is low. Count goes three and one. Check the runner. Pitch home by Williams, and it's outside ball four. Proctor walks, Chase Corbin 
steps to the plate now. And Chase has an RBI opportunity. Leads the team with eight home runs on the uh, season. <clears throat> and he's going to bunt. Good bunt. Fielded by the pitcher. Throw to first. It's going to be in time, but it's going to move the uh, runners over on the uh, sacrifice bunt. Sets up Easton Ford with two RBI opportunities. So the uh, sacrifice bunt is successful. Ford had an RBI hit his first time up, and he's going to take a breaking ball for a strike on pitch number one here. Next offering, and another breaking ball is low. Ford takes that one outside. Count two and one to Easton. And he'll take a, another off-speed pitch for a strike. Evens uh, count at two and two. He added to his uh, team high RBI total in the first inning, looking for two here. The pitch is another uh, breaking ball and in the dirt. Catcher got away from him just for a second, but uh, is able to retrieve. Count runs full. <clears throat> Easton had an opposite field line drive single his first time up, and he's going to swing and miss on this one. That one looked like it was up and out of the uh, strike zone, but he got Ford to chase for the uh, strikeout and out number two. Brings up Delton Roberts. Delton had a hit. His first at bat. And he'll take low for a ball. Rebels got the first two guys aboard here in the uh, second inning. But they're still out there with two outs. A pitch, and it is laced foul down the uh, left field line. Robert steps back in, takes that one upstairs for a ball. Next pitch, a breaking ball, bounces away from the catcher. Marshall's going to score from third as it gets to the backstop, and uh, Silo picks up a run on that wild pitch. Proctor's still out there at third. Three and one count to Delton Roberts. And he's going to swing on that pitch and foul it off the right side, not a play. Rebels have tacked on a run. It's 5 nothing. Payoff pitch, and it's fouled. Already 53 pitches for Williams here 
in the uh, second. That one misses for ball four. Tegan Connery, the next batter. Fourth walk of the uh, contest for uh, Silo here this afternoon, and Connery steps in, runners at the corners. And the pitch is high. One and oh. And there's one uh, high up, it popped up. Foul. Backing out of play. Chase the pitch up and out of the uh, zone that time. Two run single in the uh, first inning for Tegan. Got a chance for another RBI here. As the 1-1 one, one. swung on, ground ball left side. Bobbled by the third baseman. He'll throw over, and the ball gets away. Going to be an error on uh, Panama. And Silo scores a run. Proctor scores from third. That brings up Connor Cordell. Roberts is now at third base. Still at the corners. Runner goes is Connery as the pitch is fouled off. Now six nothing. Rebels and pickoff attempt at first base and Connery's back in. The next pitch and it is hit. High fly ball, shallow left field back. The uh, shortstop's not going to get there. It's going to fall in for a hit for Cordell. That drops in on the high pop fly into a shallow left. So the uh, Rebels pick up another run. Cordell's able to uh, move on down to second base. Seven nothing, and the batter is Colby Smith once again. Takes low. There's the pitch, and it's popped up right side of the infield. First baseman's going to make the uh, catch. That's McNamara for out number three on the infield pop up to end the inning. For the Rebels, three runs, one hit. Only hit of the uh, frame was that uh, shallow pop fly. Uh, one error and uh, a pair left on. After one and a half, it's now silo seven and Panama nothing.
Defensive changes for the Rebels here in the bottom of inning two. Connor Cordell's going to move behind the plate, and uh, Chase Corbin moves to the left, and the new third baseman is Carter Parker. Connery back out there for his second inning of work, 10 pitches in the uh, first as he uh, retired the uh, Razorbacks in order. Including one strikeout. Four, five, six batters for Panama here in the uh, bottom of inning two. As Connery's ready to go. First pitch of the uh, second inning is a called strike. Right down Broadway from uh, Tegan. He's ready to go. Next one. And it's hit. Chopper on the uh, left side. Fielded on a hop by Parker, who just checked in. And he'll throw over in time for the out. One down. Carter Parker with the uh, put out on the uh, throw to uh, Ford at first. Next batter is the first baseman, Luke McNamara. And he'll take a strike. Connery just pumping the uh, first one in there. Now with a 7-0 lead. And the next one, late with the uh, swing, and it's fouled off the right side, now to play. Quickly up in the count, 0-2. Oh the pitch, and it's just off the outside corner. Here's the next one, and... Ooh. Comes inside, trying to get that curveball back across, but missed inside, nearly hit him. But just evens the count at 2-2. And there's a ground ball hit right side. Coming in is Colby Smith. He'll throw and in time to get the out on the slowly hit ground ball. Smith to Ford for out number two. That'll bring up. The second baseman kicks Nixon. And the pitch up and in for a ball. Here's the next offering. It's swung on, and it is hit into a right field for a base hit. Time Nixon caught it late, pokes it out to a right field for a hit. Urban, had no chance. That one is a dying liner. So the uh, first hit of the game for Panama brings up the pitcher, Dylan Williams, as a pickoff attempt by Connery is unsuccessful. Pretty close at first there. And another one. But uh, Nixon back in. Plenty of time that time. Here's the pitch. It's low by Connery. And 
And there's a uh, swing and a miss. For strike one. Hagan's last start came on uh, last Tuesday against uh, Savannah through a uh, no-hitter in that contest that was ended in uh, four innings on the run roll. The 1-1 one -one pitch is a strike call. Ready to go on one, two, and it's fouled off the right side and out of play by Williams, the Razorback pitcher here in game one. Here's the next one, and it's inside. Two, two. That one's fouled and headed toward the uh, dugout. Oh, they're going to call. Oh, I think they're going to call catcher's interference. Runner's going to get on. It was a foul ball. Catcher's interference called on Connor Cordell, so there's two on with two outs. Biernacki is up. Braxton Biernacki, the designated hitter, as he fouls off that first pitch. And that one's going to be foul. So 0 and 2 the count. Look at second pitch home by Connery. It's a ground ball on the uh, right side. Fielded there by uh, Kobe Smith. They'll throw over in time and the Razorbacks are retired. As Connery's able to work out of it in the uh, second inning with the grounder. No runs, a hit. An error, and two men left. Go to the third inning, and it's silo seven, Panama, nothing. Back here for inning number three. Silo scored four in the first, three in the second to take a uh, seven nothing lead. See what they can do here in the uh, third as it's going to be eight, nine, and one batters and uh, leading it off is going to be Carter Parker hitting for the uh, first time. The uh, sophomore. Let's see, 364 the season average for Parker. He came on and now at third base. Uh, 
See what Parker can do here, leading off in the uh, third as he uh, takes a strike call. <laughs> Dylan Williams back out there for the Razorbacks, his third inning. And a pitch a ball. Through two, Williams. 62 pitches. He has allowed uh, seven runs, five earned on four hits. Struck out two and walked four. And a swing and a miss. So Parker behind in the uh, count at one and two now. Next pitch, breaking ball, and just misses low. 2-2. Two -two. That one's outside to Parker. Count goes full. And the payoff pitch is fouled back and out of play. And he got it off the handle. Next one, and it's fouled at the plate. Off the left side. Got a piece of that one. Parker working to get something started here in the uh, third inning. And the pitch low for a ball, and it's a leadoff walk. Similar to the way uh, the uh, second inning started when uh, Silo picked up three runs. Xander Marshall is the uh, batter here. Marshall was the one that walked to uh, start the uh, second. Now he steps up there. See the bunts on here. And the pitch swung on and fouled as Marshall was out in front of that one. Third baseman for the uh, Razorbacks, Hunter Hopkins, playing in a few steps on the grass. Pitch and square and pulling back, but the ball gets away from the catcher, and that's going to allow Parker to move on down to second into scoring position. Wild toss there. Silo back with a runner in scoring position for Xander Marshall, and he squares and pulls back, takes high for a ball. Xander <coughs> has driven in 12 this season. And he squares, pulls back, and takes the strike. On the count, even at two and two to uh, Xander Marshall. Squares, bunts popped up, foul, and he's out. Well, Marshall goes down. Via the uh, strikeout. <clears throat> and it's back to the uh, top of the order in Kyler Proctor.
Proctor 0 for 1. Popped out in the first inning. Walked in the second. Up now here in the third. And he takes a breaking ball. Which drops in there for a strike. Look at second, pitch home, another breaking ball swung on a miss. So uh, Proctor down in the count now at 0-2 after uh, a couple of breaking pitches. And we'll see uh, that one misses low. Glad you're along with us this afternoon, SiloRebels.tv. And the pitch to Proctor, and another breaking ball, and that one just misses high. Upstairs on that one. A 2-2 pitch, and it is popped up. Right side of the infield, coming over is the pitcher, Williams, and nearly overran it, but he's going to make the catch. So another pop out. Second time they've got uh, Proctor on that here uh, this afternoon. So two down with Chase Corbin stepping up. Trying to keep this inning alive for the uh, Rebels. And he'll take high. Corbin had a uh, sacrifice bunt. His last at bat. Walked in the first inning. And later scored as that pitch a low for a ball. Look at second, pitch home, and a swing and a foul at the plate, they say. Got away from the uh, catcher. They say uh, Corbin just got a piece of that one. As Carter Parker was attempting to advance to uh, third, going to have to go back. The 2-1, and it's low for ball three. Here's the next one. It's called strike on the inside corner to uh, Corbin. He thought that uh, was ball four. So it's a full count now to Corbin. And the payoff pitch. It's lined back up the middle for a base hit into center field. Parker around third. He'll score. And Silo is added to the lead now 8 nothing. Chase picks up another RBI, 31 on the season. And the Rebels have scored every inning once again. Next batter is Easton Ford. 
And he'll take high for a ball. Corbin going to uh, second. He'll steal it. Well ahead of the uh, tag. And Rebels once again with the runner in scoring position. Look at second pitch home, and it is popped up to by Ford, right side, and sailing out of play. Ford was a strikeout victim, chased uh, one up and out of the uh, zone his last time. Popped that one up there, but out of play. And the pitch was high for a ball. Last still by Corbin is 17th of the uh, season. And that one is hit high into center field. Got room for the uh, center fielder coming in to make the uh, play is Bo uh, Lenny, and he's going to make the grab. So the uh, fly ball to center ends the inning for Silo in the uh, third. They pick up a run on a hit and leave one. We go to the bottom of inning number three. More defensive changes coming for uh, the uh, Rebels. It's Silo 8, Panama, nothing. Nine one two hitters uh, coming up here in the uh, bottom of the uh, third for uh, Panama against Tegan Connery. Got a new right fielder. It's uh, Will Farr checks in in right as Mason Urbany moves over to uh, center field. So the outfield alignment uh, for the uh, Rebels now is uh, Chase Corbin in left, Mason Urbany in center, and Will Farr in right field. Infield remains intact. Parker is at third. Proctor at short. Smith at second base and Ford at first. That's Mason Cameron the uh, to start things here in the uh, third for Panama. And he swings on the first pitch. Ground ball right side on the move. Colby Smith, nice play by the uh, freshman. On the move to his left. Uh, fields it on the run and throw. Uh, for the out, had to cover a lot of ground there, and uh, Smith makes the play. One down, back to the uh, top of the order. And Bo uh, Linney fouls off the uh, first one, back and out of play. Connery worked out of a bit of a jam in the last inning as that ball is hit in the air. Pop fly back a few steps is Easton four near the edge of the grass and makes the catch for out number two. So two quick outs here in the uh, bottom of the third and that's going to bring up Hunter Hopkins. Hunter Hopkins. 
And he'll swing and foul the uh, first pitch straight back. That one's upstairs for a ball. Here's the next pitch, and it's fouled off the uh, right side, not a play. Connery ahead in the count. Well, trying to get a, a new baseball. Umpire out of those. Now he's got one. The pitch from Connery, and that uh, breaking ball is fouled at the plate. All right, a cue shot fouled off. Next pitch, another one foul. As that time, Hopkins just got a piece of that one. One and two, the next offering, and it's hit. Ground ball left side. Fielded cleanly there by Parker. Throw, and it's a little bit high. Unable to get the runner at first. Parker fielded it cleanly, but the throw was high, to and a little bit up the line to Easton Ford. So the um, Razorbacks have a uh, runner on via an error. First pitch ground ball back to the uh, mound from uh, Tim's. Connery fields it cleanly, and... Uh, that will end the inning for Panama. On the comebacker to the mound for the Razorbacks, no runs, no hits. There was an error, and a man left. Ten pitches for Connery in the frame. We head to the fourth. Silo with an 8 nothing lead. A couple of uh, defensive changes for uh, Panama. Thanks to the umpire here for reporting those to us. New left fielder, Bladen Morris. And the uh, new catcher is Jesse Linney. And new pitcher for Panama, the uh, Razorbacks send to the mound, kicks Nixon. Start of the game at second base. He will uh, face the four, five, and six hitters for Silo here in the uh, top of the fourth.
Dylan Williams worked three innings. Allowed eight runs, six earned, five hits. Struck out three, walked five, and hit one. Belton Roberts, the uh, batter here, to start things in the fourth inning. From Nixon, the pitch high. Roberts batting for the third time. He had a single and walked once. His previous two at bats, and that pitch is the ball. Two and zero the count, and Delton takes that one for a strike off speed. Nixon working and swing and a miss. Roberts out in front of that off-speed pitch. 2-2 Two -two now the count. And the next one is high and away. Payoff delivery is upstairs for ball four, and Roberts draws the leadoff walk here in the uh, fourth. Rebels had the leadoff batter on for the uh, third time in four innings. Tegan Connery, the next batter. Look, it's first as the pitch is a called strike. In there for a strike. Next one to Tegan is upstairs. For a ball. Top of inning four. Rebels made the most of five hits with an eight nothing lead. Runner goes, pitches low, down to second. Uh, a throw not in time as Delton Roberts steals the bag. Well, Roberts in scoring position now. Tegan trying to help his own cause here. And the ball is high. Three and one. Next one is taken for a strike. Curveball in there. Connery had a two-run single in the uh, back of the first. And that one is high for a ball. So back-to-back -back walks. Going to draw a visit to the mound. See if we have a pitching change. Nixon comes on and uh, walks the first two here in the uh, fourth.
And the Rebels have something cooking here again with Connor Cordell coming to the plate. It is now catching. See, Cornell, he had a uh, bloop single his last time up and fell out in shallow left field. Has a couple RBIs. Connor with those work gloves uh, looking to add to the Rebel lead here in the uh, fourth inning. The pitch, he squares, he bunts. Nice bunt, nobody home, and it's going to keep rolling to the infield dirt before it's fielded, and no chance at Cordell as a uh, nice bunt there. Bunt single by uh, Connor Cordell, and the uh, Rebels have loaded the bases. Colby Smith, the batter. The sax jam, nobody out. Panama playing in on the corners, back in the middle, looking for a chance at a double play. Here's the pitch to Colby Smith. It's high. Nixon's pitch this time. He catches the outside corner for a strike call. One and one the count. Next pitch, and it's way outside. Nice job by the uh, catcher that time to keep it from going to the uh, backstop. Two one. And there's a ground ball, hit left side. Razorbacks going for two, turn, and the throw is in time. They roll the uh, double play. Silo gets a run, but uh, they turn the uh, double play on the ground ball off the bat of Colby Smith. 6-4-3 there. So Parker steps up with two outs now and a runner at third. Carter Parker. And he takes a strike. So it looked like uh, makings of a big inning for uh, Silo. And I may just come up with a run here as Parker can get this uh, runner home from third. Ball was high. Nine zip. Nixon checks the runner at third. Pitch home. It's swung on. It is well hit to uh, center field, but over is the uh, center fielder, and he's going to make the catch. Lenny into uh, left center for the out. So uh, the uh, Rebels just get one run out of that after loading the base with nobody out. One run, one hit. A man left. Go to the bottom of the uh, fourth. It's now Silo 9 and Panama nothing.
We go to the bottom of the uh, fourth inning and uh, up for uh, Panama. Is going to be Colby Ludlow. Now the uh, third baseman for the uh, Razorbacks. Rebels held to just one in the top half of the inning. After a base is loaded, nobody out situation to start things as the uh, first pitch from uh, Connery is the ball here. 39 pitches for Tegan through three, and uh, there's a comebacker to the uh, mound, and actually uh, in the air, Connery fields it, and there's one down. Soft liner there. Luke McNamara, the next batter, and he takes a strike. And the next one, hit on the ground, a third. Fielded there by Parker, and good throw this time. And the out is recorded at first base. 5-3 put out on the ground ball. Parker to Easton Ford. Two down. The pitcher, Nixon, steps up, kicks Nixon. And that one hits him. Too far inside that time. Clip Nixon, and he's aboard. Let's see, for uh, Tegan, the first free pass of the uh, game issued. Control's been pretty good here this afternoon as that pitch is swing and a miss by Dylan Williams. Oh, one the count. Check the runner, pitch home, and it's in the dirt. Going to the backstop. Runner's going to move on down. That one, a little bit wild. Got away from uh, Tegan. On the uh, wild pitch there. Connery checks the runner. Here's the uh, pitch, grounded, third. Up with it, Parker, the throw up the line a little bit. Uh, caught by Ford, and he'll make the tag. And that'll end the inning. So another uh, ground out to end the uh, frame. Parker to uh, Ford. And that ends the uh, fourth inning for the uh, Razorbacks. No runs, no hits. A man left. We head to the fifth inning. Salo with a 9 nothing lead.
Top of the fifth inning as the uh, Rebels. The 9-1-2 batter's coming, and it's going to be well far to hit for the uh, first time. Came in defensively back in the uh, third. And he'll bat for the uh, first time here to lead off the top of the uh, fifth. Nixon back on the uh, mound. His second inning of work for uh, Panama. And the first pitch of the uh, frame is way outside for a ball. Lotto scored at least a run in each inning thus far as that pitch low in the dirt. 2-0. Oh. Four in the first, three in the second, and a run each in the third and the fourth. And that one is going to be fouled back and out of play. Far trying to get something started here in the fifth. And he will foul this one off the uh, right side. 2-2. Two -two. The count. Nixon gets the sign and the uh, pitch home and another one fouled back to the uh, backstop. Still two and two. Field level view here this afternoon. It comes a pitch from Nixon and it is upstairs. Runs the count full. Payoff pitch in the dirt for ball four. And Silo, once again, lead off a of board via walk. It's the fourth straight inning. The uh, leadoff has drawn a walk here. Next batter, Kyler Proctor, back to the uh, top of the order. Nixon checks the runner. It's pitch home. Gets away from the catcher to the uh, backstop. And Farr will move on down to uh, second base into scoring position. And a visit to the mound. After that wild pitch. And we are going to have a pitching change. So it's going to be Tustin Timms, the uh, shortstop, moving to the mound.
Just to recap things uh, thus far, the uh, Rebels scored four in the uh, first inning. Easton Ford had an RBI single. Delton Roberts had a single as well. Tegan Connery with a two-run single in the inning. Then Silo uh, picked up three more in the uh, second inning. After a pair of walks and a sacrifice bunt by Corbin, two outs later, uh, the uh, Rebels scored on a, a wild pitch and an error before a uh, RBI single from Connor Cordell made it 7 nothing. as Proctor steps in here. Chase Corbin had an RBI single in the uh, third. And in the fourth, the uh, Rebels loaded the bases with nobody out and scored on a, a double play ground out by Colby Smith. As Proctor takes a strike, first pitch here from Timms. Far the uh, runner at second. Now the 1-1 uh, one, one pitch outside. Proctor 0 for 2 in the contest, officially. Had a walk. There's a ground ball into a left field for a base hit. Here comes Far around third. He'll score easily. Proctor motoring to second, and he's going to slide in with the double. Shortstop was out of position that time, playing over uh, with the uh, runner at second base, trying to keep him close, and um, that allowed Proctor to end up with a uh, double on that one to the left center gap. Next batter is Chase Corbin, and he will take outside for a ball. So Proctor has his first hit and an RBI. It's 10-0. Corbin will foul this one off. Look at second. Here's the pitch home, and that one's high. Rebels 10-0 lead, trying to finish this off on the uh, run roll for their 12th consecutive win. As that one's high. 8-0 in district play thus far, and bidding for their ninth straight run roll in district action. The pitch, it's popped up in foul ground behind the plate, and catcher's not going to have room as this one sails out. Corbin being aggressive there on 3-1, but pops it up, but fortunately out of play. Proctor, the runner at second. He's going to steal third. The pitch is swung on and fouled off the right side. Proctor had a walk and lead at the third at second base. Like Corbin had to foul off that uh, pitch with two strikes. Here's the next one. It's outside for ball four, and uh, Chase will walk. So uh, Easton Ford steps up once again. Easton has been in uh, positions for big RBI numbers uh, this afternoon, but just has one thus far. And he's going to swing on the uh, first pitch. Grounded to the left side of the infield. Charging in as the third baseman, and he's not going to make the play in time. 
Ford is safe on the uh, single. The throw got away. Coming in is uh, Proctor and Corbin. They're going to score two on the throwing error. So Ford with a uh, softly hit ground ball single. But the uh, Rebels are going to pick up two on the error, throwing error. As Proctor and Corbin both score. Ford is at second base. Delton Roberts, the uh, batter, and he takes a strike. That throw got away down into the uh, right field uh, corner as that uh, pitch was fouled off. So Delton behind in the count at 0-2. See the numbers, Delton, one for one in the uh, contest, and he's going to foul this one. He's walked twice. I scored three runs. Follows tacked on, and it's 12 zip. Pitch, grounded right side. Second baseman up with it is Nixon, and he'll toss it to uh, first and get the first out of the inning. So Roberts out on the uh, ground out. Ford moves to third base, and taking Connery back to the plate. Already with two RBIs in the uh, contest, Tegan bidding for number three here. If he can get Ford home from third. Pitch is hit in the air to a left field. Charging in as the uh, left fielder. Going to make the catch. Here's the throw coming home after the tag. Ford's going to score on the uh, sacrifice fly. Morris made the catch, but uh, Connery picks up the RBI on the sacrifice fly to left. And it's 13 nothing. That'll be Connor Cordell to hit now. Rebels have added four here in the uh, fifth. Pitch inside, nearly hit him. Next offering, there's a swing and a miss. Silo continues to uh, tack on offensively. Has scored in all five innings here today. And there's a strike called. There was only two innings last week they didn't score at least a run in four victories. And there's a swing and a miss. Ball in the dirt. Throw down to uh, first base. It's going to be in time. And they'll retire Cordell for the uh, third out of the inning. Four runs, two hits. There was an error. After four and a half, it's now Silo 13 and Panama nothing.
Back here for the uh, bottom half of the uh, fifth inning. New second baseman in for the uh, Rebels here is Britton Salisbury. And Tegan Connery back out there. And first pitch swinging was Braxton uh, Biernacki. Next one, it's hit. Liner into a right, coming in as far. Throw to first is in time, and uh, the outs recorded. No hit on that one as uh, Will Farr came charging in, gets the out at uh, first base. That'll go down 9-3 to three on the uh, putout. So one down. Here's a ball after the uh, first pitch strike. Morris, the uh, batter. One down in the inning as that pitch is fouled off and out of play. Bladen Morris, the uh, batter, his first at bat of the uh, contest. Connery ahead in the count, one and two, trying to finish this off. For another complete game win as that pitch inside gets away from Cordell. Evens account at 2 2. And there's a strike called. Two down. For uh, Tegan, that'll be strikeout number two of the afternoon. Back to the uh, top of the order. Bo Lenny is swinging and the miss on the uh, first pitch. Thirteen nothing. Rebels trying to finish this one off. And there's a strike called. 0 oh, 2 the count. That one's going to be fouled. Taking it at 57 pitches on the afternoon. Here's the 0-2 pitch, and nearly hit him off the bat, and he's well, called out. Hit him on the uh, swing, and that's a uh, strikeout to end the uh, ball game for Tegan Connery. Back-to-back -back strikeouts, and he uh, picks up the uh, complete game victory for the uh, Rebels. They finish it off 13-0 on the uh, run roll. And they pick up the uh, win. That's 12, 12 wins in a row for the uh, in, extend the uh, winning streak to 12 straight and the ninth uh, consecutive run roll victory in district play as the Rebels improved to 9 and 0. Oh. Tegan Connery goes the distance five innings as he allows uh, no runs, one hit, struck out three, no walks, hit one batter. And looking at the uh, final uh, offensive numbers before we uh, take a break here. For the uh, Rebels, Easton Ford had a, a couple of hits, a pair of singles, and one RBI. Connor Cordell had two hits in the uh, contest, two RBIs. And let's see, eight hits in total. Those were four of them. 
Connor Proctor had a double and an RBI. Chase Corbin had a, a single, an RBI in the uh, game. Delton Roberts also had a hit, and Tegan Connery, one hit and three RBIs for Silo. 22-2 and two on the uh, season, and the uh, Rebels pick up win number 12 in a row on the uh, year. And uh, we'll have the uh, second game for you coming up here. Oh, probably in about 15 or 20 minutes right here on SiloRebels.tv.
Yeah, we played, that's where we got 
And we're ready to start the uh, second game. The uh, Rebels going to be the home team uh, on the uh, scoreboard. And it's going to be Delton Roberts getting the uh, start, uh, making his fourth start of the uh, season. He's 3-0. and Nine innings pitch. It's allowed two runs, six hits, struck out 20, walked three, 1.55 ERA for Roberts. He had a no-hitter in uh, one of the uh, contests at Savannah last week. And we are uh, set for the uh, first pitch. Bo Lenny to uh, lead off here in the first for uh, Panama. And he takes a strike from uh, Delton Roberts. Take a look at the uh, defensive alignment for the uh, Rebels here in just a second as that pitch swung on and missed. On the infield, it's Carter Parker at third, Kyler Proctor at Short, Will Farr playing second base, and Easton Ford at first. As the next pitch from uh, Roberts is just outside for a ball. Chase Corbin behind the plate catching this contest. In the outfield, it's Connor Cordell in left. As that pitch swung on and missed. Ball in the dirt gets away to the uh, backstop, and uh, the runner is aboard. So the... Uh, on the uh, third strike, swinging. Safe on the uh, wild pitch at first base. So uh, Lenny reaches despite the uh, strikeout. Hunter Hopkins, the uh, next batter. Runner at first, Hopkins will square and foul off the uh, bunt. In the outfield for the uh, Rebels, once again, uh, Connor Cordell in left. Taking Connery as the center fielder and Mason Urbany in right. 0-1 the count to Hopkins. Panama, the uh, visiting team on the Chase Corbin. So Hopkins, the uh, batter. Now the 0-2 pitch from Roberts just misses outside. Here's a pickoff attempt uh, on the uh, back pick at first is not quite in time as sliding in was Lenny. One and two the count. The pitch from Roberts, breaking ball, swung on and missed for strike three. Here's another back pick attempt and Unsuccessful. One down on the uh, strikeout. A three-hole hitter steps up. That's Tustin Timms. So one down here in the uh, first inning. Back-to-back -back strikeouts. And that pitch, it's lined into left center for a base hit. It's headed to the gap. Going to be extra bases. Cordell over to field it. He's throwing it in to Proctor. Throw coming home to Corbin, and he has plenty of time to nail the runner attempting to score at the plate. Nice relay attempt from Proctor as he guns the uh, runner at the plate. Corbin had it in plenty of time. The uh, runner was still 10 feet away from the uh, plate. And so the uh, double, but unable to score, As Lenny was out from uh, Cordell to Proctor to Corbin at the uh, plate. As the uh, first pitch here to the uh, batter, it's Colby Ludlow, it's ball. Here's a ground ball left side. Backhand stop by Proctor. He'll throw over in plenty of time. And hey, Razorbacks are retired in the top half of the uh, first inning. On the uh, ground out, for Panama, they had no runs, a hit, and a man left. We head to the uh, bottom of uh, inning number one. 
Pen them on nothing, and Silo coming to bat. On the mound for Panama here in the second game of the uh, doubleheader is the uh, Southpaw Bo uh, Lindley, or Lenny. Lenny getting the uh, start. Same lineup, but uh, had a runner gunned down at the uh, plate. After the uh, double to left center, good relay from uh, Connor Proctor. Who starts things here in the uh, bottom of uh, the first, squares the bunt, pulls back, takes the ball in the dirt. Rebels had eight hits in uh, game one. Proctor had one of those. And there's a the ball. Here's the next pitch, and it's in the dirt. 3-0. and oh. And there's a strike call from the uh, southpaw. It's Proctor taking all the way on 3-0. Then he gets a sign, pitch home is way upstairs for ball four. And uh, Silo has a leadoff walk here to uh, begin game two. Chase Corbin, the next batter. And the pitch. It's in the dirt to the backstop. Corbin, or uh, Proctor, is uh, headed to uh, second, uh, was headed on the uh, pitch and, and nearly turned and went to third, but held up there. So Proctor moves up on that wild pitch to the backstop. Rebels already threatening with a runner in scoring position here. And that pitch low for ball two. And have a visit to the mound.
Pitch home. Well, that one's way outside to the backstop. And coming home is Proctor going to try to score, and he's safe. As he's going to score all the way from second on that wild pitch, nobody covered home. Catcher trying to get out there, but uh, could not uh, make it before Proctor. He rounded third and never slowed down on that uh, wild pitch. So Silo is on the board. And a visit to the uh, mound here. As the pitcher did not uh, cover home and Silo out in front, one nothing. <clears throat> Three zero the count to uh, Corbin. Nice hustling play by uh, Proctor. And the pitch is in there for a strike. <clears throat> Three and one. Next delivery, and it's swung on. Popped up right side. Over is the uh, second baseman, Nixon. And he's going to make the catch on the uh, pop fly. Couple steps to his left, and Corbin is retired. Brings up Easton Ford. First pitch to Easton is high and away. And the next one is a uh, strike call. One and one. Pitch to east and out. Comes inside. Ducks out of the way of that one. Here's the 2-1 pitch from the uh, lefty, and it's high for a ball. Three and one. Next one, and it's ball four. Blowing away there, and uh, four draws a walk. Second walk of this inning, and uh, Delton Roberts, the next batter. But look at first, and the pitch home, and it's a strike. Roberts was taking all the way there. The 0-1, and there's one in the dirt. Nice block by the uh, catcher that time. Jesse Linney behind the plate. The 1-1, one, one, it's high but fouled as Roberts took a hack at that one. Roberts down on the count, 1-2 and two now. Ford at first. Here's the uh, pitch home. It's in the dirt to the backstop right in front of us. Here comes Ford to second on the uh, wild pitch. Come on, 
Check it second. Pitch home. It's high. Runs the count full. The next one is swung on. It's hit well to a left center over is the uh, center fielder and uh, going to make the grab in uh, left center. That Williams in uh, center field. Dylan Williams makes the catch for out number two as uh, Ford had to uh, retreat back to the bag. Tegan Connery, the next batter. Three RBIs in uh, game one for uh, Tegan as he takes high. Next one home, and it's a strike called. Rebels up one nothing in uh, the uh, first inning here in Panama, Oklahoma this afternoon. We're in La When he checks the runner, here's the pitch. And it's popped up. Foul ground right side. Going to be no chance to make a play as it's up against the fence. Connery battling with two. Ball fouled off the uh, right side by uh, Connery once again. Two two the count to uh, Tegan, and the pitch is breaking ball, swing and a miss for strike three, and uh, that ends the inning for the uh, Rebels. No, uh, pick up a run, no hits, and a man left. We head to the uh, second. It's silent one, and pen on nothing. Five, six, and seven hitters uh, up for uh, Panama here in the uh, second inning. One zip silo as the uh, first delivery from uh, Delton Roberts is a called strike. Bladen Morris 
the uh, batter, and he takes high. Here's the 1-1, one, one. it's in the dirt. Two one pitch low for a ball and Roberts behind in the count. Three straight balls here. And that one misses low for ball four. Leadoff batter aboard here in the uh, second inning for the uh, Razorbacks. Luke McNamara, the uh, next batter. Carter Parker inches in at third. Pitch home, and it's low. The 1-0, and squared around a bunt, pulled back. Ball, and pickoff attempt at uh, first base, not in time, from uh, Corbin. Well, Roberts now 2 and 0 the count squares bunts right in front of the plate Roberts going to field it bare hand throw to uh, first and it's in time the out is recorded sacrifice bunt and there's one down Kicks Nixon, the next batter. And he will swing on the uh, first pitch and miss for strike one. Robert checks the runner at second. Pitch is fouled. Off the right side, not a play. Next delivery is high from uh, Roberts on that 0-2 pitch. Elton checks the runner at second once again, and that one, uh, breaking ball, and stays inside, nearly hit him. Count even, 2-2. Two, two. Pitch from Roberts. There's a breaking ball, swung and a miss. Strikeout by uh, Roberts. Two down. Next batter, Jesse Linney, the catcher. Pitch home is high. A 1 0, and it's going to be swung on and fouled back to the uh, screen. Robert's going to spin and uh, look the uh, runner back at uh, second base. Howard checks the runner again, pitch home, and it's swung on and cued foul off the uh, right side. Oh, 
Delton with three strikeouts thus far, and that pitch is fouled. Two down here in the uh, second for the Razorbacks. Pitch from Roberts, and that's fouled straight back. 